Reimagine for 2024, Gibson have just made some changes to one of the most popular lines. Let's check out the Gibson Les Paul Studio. <laughs> Anyone who's a fan of Gibson Les Pauls knows what the Les Paul Studio is. It sits in the range as their stripped down version of the iconic single cut, making it a lot more appealing to players who don't want the super, super flashy Les Paul, but they still want that sort of full bodied sound. 2024, Gibson have reimagined the iconic guitar with a couple of new finishes, some new features. I think they're going to be very welcome to players who are fans of this guitar. So by all means, if you want to check out a particular section of the video, we'll be split up into chapters, which you can check just below in the description. But I'm just going to start out. I'm going to talk about what's different about this line. So maybe the first noticeable difference is the addition of some new colours to this range. This one that I've got in my lap being the Blueberry Burst, which is a particularly favourite particular favourite when it comes to some of Gibson's other models now available in their Les Paul studio and I should make it very clear right at the start these are all nitrocellulose finishes on these guitars as well so they're going to wear away very nicely as you play them. Now I have the other models just on the wall right beside me here we have the iconic wine red model which everyone is always a fan of when it comes to the studio and the ebony model as well which Again, that's your kind of two iconic Les Paul studios, certainly for me, anyway. All my AFI fans out there, sound off in the comments. And we also have the addition of a Heritage Cherry Sunburst as well, which is that classic Les Paul colour. Now, this is an nice tea standard that we use usually for our videos, but even just to compare the two there, you can kind of see the differences just on the finishes. Again, different colours. Now, the other big difference that Gibson have done for these guitars, I'm going to stick with the blueberry one just for this section, because I quite like this colour myself, is the change to Burst Bucker Pro pickups in here, and that was from the previous ones that were in the studio, the 418R, I think, was the name of those ones, but these are a little bit different. This is it just on a clean tone. And of course, we had a little bit of dirt on that as well. You're going to get that proper sort of full-bodied Les Paul sound as well that I was talking about. <laughs> Stick on something a little bit more sort of thick there as well. What the that was the intro sound that I had that you'll have heard, but kicking on a little bit more overdrive, you'll notice again just that iconic sort of sound. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So nothing wrong with that. That's a Les Paul in its fullest there. Now, one thing I just want to spend a little bit of time on as well, much like the other studios in the past, this does have some coil splits here, which let's see how they handle. Just let's keep it on the clean here. I'll play a little bit from the full humbucker and then I'll split to the coil just to see exactly what's going on. Now, immediate impressions of that, that's kind of got that like sort of, you know, single coil quacky thing kind of going on there. got like that single coil feel to it like you kind of you know that if you batter in just that little bit more it does kind of give you obviously just a little bit more as well but it's got that proper like again that kind of single coil attack to it which i think is quite important <laughs> You know what I mean? It's kind of got a like, proper sort of attack. And then if we go into the center, I wonder actually, are we gonna get that kind of fender in between sound? <laughs> Not quite there, but you can definitely you know, use this for different applications instead of just like full on sort of Les Paul sound out of it. Actually, while I was playing there as well, that's a good sort of point. I'm going to switch over just to one of the other colors just so you can see them too. Let's go with the classic wine red here, but this is a good opportunity to speak about the neck with this because these guitars have got the slim taper neck that Gibson have been using on some of their models. It feels like a lot kind of, I guess a lot more like flatter and smaller than you would expect from maybe like a classic sort of like 50s style Gibson on it. So th these are definitely much more suited to kind of, you know, like modern players as well. But not to say that, you know, any sort of old school sort of Gibson fan wouldn't get a lot out of these as well. A couple of other changes when we're looking just at the guitar. You have the bound neck, rosewood board, with these classic style, kind of close on style Gibson tuners on here as well, instead of the button style Grover, Grover tuners, which the standards have sort of been known for. This just brings that kind of, you know, the, the sort of ranges just a little bit closer. And it's certainly when people kind of think of those like, you know, older style Les Pauls, that's the tuners you're going to be looking at with them. And then other than that, it's like, it's a really kind of stripped down guitar. And it's one of those things that I particularly love about the studios is just you're getting a Les Paul but without a lot of the fancy stuff as well. So you might feel like certainly I mentioned AFI a little bit earlier and you know, some people who are watching this may not know that band, but kind of punky band, they, their guitarists has always used Les Paul Studios even though they are super big these days. I think more so because like, they're just, they don't want to ruin like a Les Paul standard or something on the road, which there's totally something to say about that there. But this model has got the same, pickups in it so I'm just going to noodle on it and just see what other sounds I can get.
So hopefully that gives you an idea of the new reimagined Les Paul Studios and what they can do. I think these changes that Gibson have made are really, really welcome. Just some of the changes in the pickups, obviously the aesthetic differences. But also, I think my favourite thing about it is the fact that they have included like a nitro finish on this as well. Not that they haven't had them on the past, but you know, it's good to see that that's still kind of one of the main features of these. And I mean, actually, that blueberry finish as well, that's super sweet. But let me know what you think about these reimagined Les Paul Studios in the comments below. And if you have liked the video, give us a like and give us a subscribe. It's very welcome to keep the page going. And also, it means that you can keep up with all the news at Guitar Guitar HQ. But until next time, I've been Kieran. This has been a quick look at the Gibson reimagined Les Paul Studios. Have a great day.